All right guys, so I'm back again today with another video and today we're going to be working on the Acadia again. Um, we've done all the LED swap stuff on the inside and now he's wanting to make his headlights look better. Um, they actually have these running lights that go around right here as most new cars do. And they're like a bluish color, but his headlights of course are the halogen, which is like that ugly yellow color. So he went ahead and he got some Xenon HIDs from xenonhids.com. Um, this video is actually not sponsored by them or anything. Um, so I will be reviewing them and doing like I always do, but um, I always do a trustworthy review no matter if they, if they give me the product or if I buy it, just because I wanna give you guys good videos. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get into the install. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I already put the pry tool in. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push it in. There's actually a clip in between and I'll show you when I pull it out. And you're just gonna push up on this. It's hard with one hand. So then you push it up like that and it unlocks the clip and then you're gonna pull it out. Sometimes the top pin will come out and that's okay. It's not hurting anything. And then you can just put your clip underneath and then pop that part out. So anyway, when you first do it, you're gonna go underneath this clip and then pry that up and then the whole thing will unlock and come out. Cause this is what actually makes the pin flare out at the bottom to hold onto the plastic panel. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go around and do all of them. So you have one up here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So there's eight in this one. Um, I don't think there's any more. Oh, there's one right here. So it's nine. And I may or may not have missed one over there. Um, there'll probably be 10. But anyway, you guys can see where they're all at. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip all of them. And then I'll show you guys that at the end. So yeah, there is one over here. So there's 10. Okay guys, so we have all of our clips out. They're right over here. Um, on one, I had to use a screwdriver um, right here. Let's see if I can get the lot over here. But anyway, the one that goes right here, I had to use a screwdriver for um, because it was so tight I couldn't get my pry tool in there. But anyway, so now it's loose, so you'll just pull it straight up and it'll come right off, except you gotta pull these little gasket clips out from the top on both sides. So just like that, so now it's loose. So we're just gonna pick it up and take it right over here and put it in the floor. Okay. So now as you guys can see, the way that this car is made, it's actually hard to kind of see the headlights and stuff um, because this one right here is actually your turn signal and he actually already has LEDs in there and then your high beams are right here where this box is. So what they actually tell you to do is they actually tell you to take this tire off and to pull down this fender liner right here and then you'll be able to see the back of the headlight and stuff better and it'll be easier for us to mount the HIDs and stuff. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do that now. We're gonna jack up this side. We're gonna take off the driver's side wheel and pull this down a little bit. So it'll just make it easier, because you can see right there is the fender liner. And we can just see everything back here a lot better. And then, because we're probably gonna mount the ballast slide like, down in there, hidden. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I jacked up the car. Um, just the same place that it tells you to. There's always an arrow on every car that you can go off of where the pinch weld is. Um, so there's the tire and we actually just used uh, the tool out of the back of the car um, because he didn't have another wrench here it's not like my garage where we do have the other stuff so anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out these it looks like star screws right here and then kind of pull this back so we can see the light now I'm hoping um, like with my car I can get to all my headlights like really easy and I can change them out and stuff. And I don't understand why this one you can't just get right here. 
and why we're having to go through all this. So I'm not sure if there's actually a way to take this headlight out like this way um, without, you know, because like my car, you have to actually pull the front bumper off a little bit because there's actually clips that run right here that snaps into the light. So I don't know if that's the case on this one or not. Um, I did look up some stuff though that said that you had to pull this back, but I feel like this is kind of crazy having to pull all this back for a light bulb. So, but anyway, worst case scenario, if you can do it this way, this will at least let us hide the ballast a little easier inside, um, right in here. It'll be easier than me having to try to hide it somewhere up in here where there's really not that much space. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the star screwdriver or the star bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and loosen them up and then pull it back and we'll see what we're working with. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through everything that I just did. Okay, so there's gonna be two screws that go up underneath right here. So you're gonna have to lay on your back and get those. Okay, so that takes away two of those. And then now there's gonna be four screws that are, um, they're right here. So there's one, two, three, four right there. And then now there's a couple of the push pins, like how we um, took that plastic piece off. There's gonna be one, two, three. Um, I think there was four of those. So, no, there's only three. And then one will be right here, one's in the center, and then there's another one um, down at the bottom. So once you get that done, you can grab this and you can actually be pretty rough with it because you're not going to hurt it. It's going to form back to the way it's supposed to. And you're going to pull it back and I put it right here behind the caliber so the caliber will hold it. And then if you look right up in here, let me grab my light. So you can see the bulbs hanging out, I already pulled it out. But first off, you're going to have to pull, you're going to unscrew this cap and that allows you access to the bulb just like that and then you're gonna undo the bulb and then now we can unclip that harness and use that harness to hook up our hids so i'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out a way to do this because this cap needs to be able to be screwed back on so nothing gets into the housing so i'm gonna see how that wire is ran over here to it and i'm gonna see if i can run the hid the same way but anyway so and then i might um, might be able to like fish that wire up through there or something. We're going to figure it out though. So that's how we're looking so far. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I put the HID bulb in. So everything's in. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, where I'm going to put the ballast and stuff at. Um, so one thing I was going to tell you guys about was the cap and what we're going to do about the cap. So I'm going to go right out here in the light so we can see good. And I'll explain it to you real quick. So what we're going to do is we actually, if I was at my house and um, doing it myself with the tools that we have, I would actually just take our Dremel tool and cut a little circle out right here and then feed the wires through it. And then the gasket that comes on the HID would cover that up because as you can see, you can actually, where there's a grommet in between, you can just push this grommet into it and then it'll be waterproof. So that's what I would do if I was at home. But we actually don't have a Dremel tool here. So what we're gonna do is, since we've already got everything pulled apart, we're gonna put the bulb in. And we're actually gonna kinda do something a little janky. We're gonna put some tape just over it to cover it up for now. And then maybe later we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and then run it through there like it's supposed to. Maybe the next time we have to switch the bulbs or whatever. But the um, this cap, we checked it and stuff and it just goes it's basically just like an extra protector because as you can see the light bulb has a gasket on it so it's basically just a, like another extra protection because you have the fender liner and you have that liner on the top that you see me take off um and then you have this and the light bulb so you've got like a bunch of protectors so it shouldn't matter unless you're going mud in a bunch then i would definitely say to put the cap back on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm going to show you guys where I'm gonna mount the ballast and stuff like that at inside the car. And then um, we'll do a comparison between the HIDs and halogens, of course. So let's go ahead and let's get back into it. 
Okay guys, so another thing I was going to demonstrate to you real quick for you guys. Um, so one thing, with the GMC, not for my car, but the GMC, it actually has like backwards polarity, which is really, really weird. So on normal cars, you'll take this clip, and then there's normally a clip on the female side, just like this. You can see the clip. Um, and you're just going to take and put it just like this where the clip clips into this clip Okay, but on the GMC for some reason it's like backwards polarity So you actually have to turn this around and these clips are actually going to be backwards on this one So it'll actually go this way and then this clip will be on the bottom So because I first took it up the normal way like you're supposed to and they didn't come on and I flipped them around because I was like Well, maybe it's the polarity and it was so if you guys are having that same problem flip it around and if it's the polarity then there you go so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a either some electrical tape or like a zip tie and make sure it doesn't come off where we don't have this clip so I'll show you guys that too but anyway if you're having problems with them coming on or getting power just check your polarity okay guys so as you can see here's the HID and then there's the halogen so it's a lot brighter, which we do have this side of the car jacked up right now. So if the beam looks a little higher over here, that's why. But as you can see, there's the halogen and there is the HID. And another good thing is you can see the cutoff line right here. So you're not gonna be blinding anybody because it's the exact same cutoff line as a halogen. So if anybody's complaining about that, that's not a thing unless you're using a projector as long as you're using a projector lens, you're good. But as you can see, the headlight housing looks a lot nicer with the HID there compared to what it looked like with the halogen there. It just kind of looks old, but so. There's kind of what it looks like. And then again, there's the halogen and there's the HID. As you can see, there's a small circle up here on this one and the HID cuts straight across, so that's really good. We just got a little bit there and there. Now I'll show you guys the high beams because these bulbs actually do both. So there's the high beams for it. Still a lot more coverage like down towards the ground with the HID. So there's your comparison. Now I'm gonna show you how I fixed up all the wires underneath after I turned the lights back on. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Um, on my own without filming it because it'll be the exact same way and uh, Then we'll close out the video. All right So first before we get in here, I'm going to tell you guys that I went ahead and I used zip ties instead of drilling anything in Just because I didn't want to drill into the car So as you can see there's two zip ties running across this bracket this way And you can see this is just like a support bracket for the bumper So there's what it looks like. I know the lighting is kind of bad. Let's see if I can so anyway, there's what that looks like. So I actually ran two, um, two of the zip ties running this way, and then I wrapped two this way, and then that's what went around the bracket. So that's what's holding it on. It's really tight on there. It just moves a little bit. And then this company has this little box right here, and I actually really don't like that because it has to be straight to the bulb wires. And it's just kind of dangling here, so I kind of just zip tied it to this wire just to make it hold all together. But as you can see, there's kind of what it looks like. I wish I had a better light, but there's what everything looks like. So now we're going to go and do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see right there is what the tape job looks like, so it really don't look that bad. So... There you guys go, and if you have any questions on any of this, just leave a comment down below and I'll explain it a little bit better for you guys because I know it's hard to see. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got it all put back together. Let's see. So you've got one here, one there, one right there, one right there. You've got a push pin here, push pin here, push pin in the center right there push pin there another push pin here and then you've got screws that just one two three and then another push pin here and here and then there's two screws 
underneath right here. And then that's it. It's all put back together. So now we'll go ahead and put the tire on and then we'll go ahead and get to the other side. All right guys, so now we have the other side done and as you can see, the cutoff is really good right here. So that made a really big difference and it made the light housings look 10 times better. So if you guys are wanting to do this to your Acadia, it's pretty easy and simple, not too bad. Just the only thing is you do have to take your wheels off which isn't that big of a deal because you do have stuff in the back that you can do that with if you don't have your own jack and stuff. Um, I'm trying to hurry and end this video before the battery dies. But anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button down below and leave comments if you have any questions about anything I've done. Um, and also make sure you follow my Instagram account because when new videos are coming out and stuff, I put it on there first so you guys will know. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this how-to video on the Acadia, putting HIDs in. And if you guys have any other videos that you want me to do, please let me know, and I'll try to do them to the best of my ability if I'm able to. Um, and the other thing is, is you guys are watching this Saturday right now. So next Saturday is the Knoxville Cars and Coffee at the... Uh, it's at the mall in Knoxville, and um, I forget the exact mall's name, but I hope to see you guys there, and um, make sure you stop me if you see me, because I'd love to engage with you guys and um, talk with you guys a little bit. So anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll put the location and the time and everything right here, right now, and if you guys want to swing by, just make sure you come and say hey to me. So see you guys later. Peace out.